Welcome to the Nicholas 11x12 technology. Today I'm comparing the AMD R9 Fury with the R9 Fury X graphics card. I'd say that's gonna be some furious fury power here. Alright, I had to do that. The price difference is shocking. The Fury X just costs so much more. It better be worth that extra money, let's find out. Yes, it is better than the Fury, but not that much better to justify that premium price. Ok, the Fury X runs cooler, but none of these two GPUs run hot either, so we can't argue about that anyways. Noise level is still better on the air-cooled Fury. The Fury X should be quieter, but that annoying high-pitched noise the water cooling pump emits doesn't necessarily make the Fury X silent. Also, the Fury, let's say, should fit into pretty much any modern PC case. Whereas the Fury X, which is actually meant to fit into any PC, often doesn't fit so well. The card itself might be short, but that 120mm radiator with its tubes does take up its space. In terms of performance, sure, the Fury X does better in pretty much every aspect, but when looking at the price compared to the one of the Fury, the price performance ratio definitely is better on the Fury. Power consumption is higher on the Fury X, but that's what I've expected. Both are Fiji GPUs and more performance on the Fury X basically means more power draw. Logical. Both GPUs are equipped with 4GB of the new HBM VRAM, so no difference there. Long story short, I think the Fury is the better choice over the Fury X. At least that's my opinion, but let me know yours as well. And that wraps this video up. I hope you've enjoyed it and know a bit more about these Fury graphics cards now. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.